welcome to this month's collaboration video. This video is part of a collaboration between us and other YouTubers. We encourage you to watch the other videos in this month's collaboration list and the easiest way to do that is to watch this video to the very end and we'll put a card at the end of this video. This month's video is the top five places we visited whilst on holiday in our caravan. So without further ado, location number one. Whilst we were on holiday at Chewithit Farm, Tintagel in Cornwall, we visited Tintagel. A view from Chewithit Farm Caravan Park. Tintagel has a couple of car parks. They are pay and display, so don't forget to take your pound coins with you. There are plenty of shops to have a look around. Lots of opportunities to eat and drink whilst visiting this historic pretty town. Tintagel Castle was a brilliant day out, not for the faint-hearted and definitely a day for trainers. We're not sure that this is true. There are some spectacular views of the Cornish coastline from up here. Is this a window or an arrow slit? This bridge is slightly vertigo inducing. King Arthur's statue or is it Galos? The beach at Merlin's cave. Location number two. This was the same trip away to Trewithit Farm and we visited the town of Boscastle. The view from our pitch at Trewithit Farm. Boz Castle has some lovely shops, including Cornish pasties. It has a quaint cobbled street with lots of quirky cottages lining the path. Beware for the witches. This is the river that gently flows down to the harbour. There was nothing through the archway. Just look at this lovely little building with its bowed roof. And there's the river flowing down to the mouth of the harbour. Location number three. This was when we stayed at the Coachman Caravan Park in Snainton, Yorkshire. We visited Whitby, Scarborough and some of the other famous beaches in the area. Our old rig at Coachman Caravan Park. The facilities. This was in 2019. Everything was open. A spot of Yorkshire seaside dining. Whitby is famous for scampi, so of course when we went to Whitby, scampi was definitely on the menu. Gothland is the home of the TV series Heartbeat. Here's a postcard from Whitby Abbey. And here's a picture we took ourselves. Which do you prefer? Location number four was the Portisham Dairy Farm in Weymouth, Dorset, close by the Jurassic Coast. And we visited the town of Charmouth when we were there. Enjoying an ice cream at Portisham Dairy Farm. The What Three Woods address of the facilities at Charmouth. We saw people learning how to paddleboard. 
as well as a paraglider. Somebody was feeding the birds in the river char. And this is the river char leading down towards the sea. Hence the name of the town, Charmouth. The Jurassic Coast. We had a specific reason for visiting Charmouth, and that's because it's known for its sea glass. Today we went hunting for sea glass and we found plenty. There are plenty of fossils to be had from frequent cliff falls along the Jurassic coast. Might this be a dinosaur or is it something else altogether? Here's a lovely nugget of bright green sea glass. And we can see our fan in the car park. Location number five is actually from our last trip away, which was to Frenton Farm in St. Austell, also Cornwall. And that was where we visited the lovely Charlestown. Our caravan at Frenton Farm CL near St. Austell, Cornwall. Our trip to Charlestown was a bit of a last minute thing. Charlestown is steeped in history and is famous for its tall ships. Unfortunately, we didn't have much time there, so we didn't get to go and visit very much. This is a location that we will definitely be going back to revisit so that we can look at it in more detail. Whilst we were at Charlestown, we popped to the beach. And surprisingly, we found lots of sea glass, which for us was a lovely find. Hope you've enjoyed visiting our top five places why not let us know what your favorite places are in the comments below we're always looking for new ideas of places to travel and visit don't forget to like share and subscribe and also please watch the other videos in the collaboration playlist which will be visible now bye bye